learning objectives after studying this chapter the learner should be able to describe the characteristics of management and its importance in an organization explain the nature of management as an art science and profession explain the functions of management and appreciate the nature and importance of coordination concept of management management is a guiding element that leads the efforts people towards achieving a common objective a goal definition management is the process of planning organizing staffing directing and controlling an organization or an effort for accomplishing a common goal characteristics of management a careful analysis of the definition will lead us through the following characteristics of management one management is a goal oriented process every organization should have some predefined goals and it should be simple and clearly stated two management is all pervasive the activities involved in managing an enterprise are common to all organizations whether economic social or political three management is multidimensional management is a complex activity that has three main dimensions like management of people management of process and management of operations four management is a continuous process the process of management is a series of continuous composite but separate functions of planning organizing directing staffing and controlling five management is a group activity an organization is a collection of diverse individuals with different needs but they work together fulfilling the common organizational goal six management is a dynamic function an organization interacts with its external environment which consists of various social economic and political factors in order to be successful the management of an organization must change itself and its goal according to the needs of the environment seven management is an intangible force management is an intangible force that cannot be seen but its presence can be felt in the way the organization functions functions of management management is described as the process of planning organizing directing and controlling the efforts of organizational members and of using organizational resources to achieve specific goals these processes involved in the business are described as the functions and they are discussed below planning planning is the function of determining in advance what is to be done and who is to do it this implies setting goals in advance and developing a way of achieving them efficiently and effectively planning cannot prevent problems but it can predict them and prepare contingency plans to deal with them if and when they occur organizing organizing is the management function of assigning duties grouping tasks establishing authority and allocating resources required to carry out a specific plan staffing staffing simply stated is finding the right people for the right job a very important aspect of management is to make sure that the right people 
with the right qualifications are available at the right places and times to accomplish the goals of the organizations. Directing Directing involves leading, influencing and motivating employees to perform the tasks assigned to them. This requires establishing an atmosphere that encourages employees to do their best. Motivation and leadership are two key components of direction. Controlling Controlling is the management function of monitoring organizational performance towards the attainment of organizational goals. The task of controlling involves establishing standards of performance, measuring current performance, comparing this with established standards and taking corrective action where any deviation is found. Importance of Management We understood that management is a universal activity. Now, we are going to examine some of the reasons that have made management so important. Management helps in achieving group goals. Management is required not for itself but for achieving the goals of the organization. It always focuses on the group goals. Management increases efficiency. The aim of a manager is to reduce costs and increase productivity through better performance of the managerial functions. Management creates a dynamic organization. Management helps people adapt to the changes in an organization so that the organization is able to maintain its competitive edge. Management helps in achieving personal objectives. A manager motivates and leads his team in such a manner that individual members are able to achieve personal goals while contributing to the overall organizational objective. Management helps in the development of society. Management helps to ensure the social objectives of an organization is getting accomplished. It helps to provide good quality products and services, creates employment opportunities and leads the path towards growth and development. Objectives of Management Management objectives can be well defined under three important categories organizational, social and personal. Organizational objectives Management is responsible for setting and achieving objectives for the organization. It can be maximization of profit, survival and business growth. Social objectives This refers to consistently creating economic value for various constituents of society. Personal objectives Organizations are made up of people who have different personalities. The interest of these individuals need to be addressed. Nature of Management The term management today has several different connotations that highlight the different aspect of its nature. Nature of management can be better understood by classifying it into three different categories. Management is an art. Art is the skillful and personal application of existing knowledge to achieve desired results. Management has a bunch of well-defined theories. Management theories are applied by the managers personally in their daily activities. Creativity and practice is an inevitable part of a successful manager to apply the management theories. Management as a science. Science is a systemized body of knowledge 
that explains certain general truths or the operation of general laws. Systemized body of knowledge, science is a systematic body of knowledge. Its principles are based on a cause and effect relationship. Principle based on experimentation, scientific principles are first developed through observation and then tested through repeated experimentation under controlled conditions. Universal Validity Scientific principles have universal validity and application. Based on the above features, we can say that management is a science. Management has a systemized body of knowledge. It has its own theory and principles that have developed over a period of time. But it also draws on other disciplines such as economics, sociology, psychology and mathematics. Management as a profession. A profession has the following characteristics. Well-defined body of knowledge, restricted entry, professional association, ethical code of conduct and service motives. All these characteristics are well maintained and applied in management also. In other words, a manager should be a professional as well. Levels of management Levels of management can be better understood in the given example. Rakhi and Smita are both managers of an enterprise. Rakhi is the CEO of HCL and Smita is a branch manager at FabMart. They both serve in different hierarchy of HCL. Levels of Management For better understanding, the term management can be divided into three levels. Lower, Middle and Top Levels Top Level Management They consist of the senior most executives of the organization by whatever name they are called. They are usually referred to as the chairman, the chief executive officer, chief operating officer, president and vice president. The top level management is responsible for the planning of activities. They plan things accordingly and communicate the same to the middle level management. Middle level management. Middle level management is the link between top and lower level managers. They are subordinate to top managers and superior to the first line managers. They are usually known as division heads. They are mainly focused on the formulation of business objectives, policy formulation and assigning the necessary duties to the line managers. Supervisory or operational management. Foremen and supervisors comprise the lower level in the hierarchy of the organization. Supervisors directly oversee the efforts of the workforce. Their authority and responsibility is limited according to the plans drawn by the top management. Supervisory management plays a very important role in the organization since they interact with the actual workforce and pass on instructions of the middle management to the workers. The essence of management Coordination Coordination is the most important and guiding element of management. It is the force that combines the operations and actives of all departments together for the successive running of an organization. Characteristics of Coordination The most important features of coordination function are highlighted here. Coordination integrates group efforts. Coordination unifies unrelated or diverse interests into purposeful work activity. It gives a common focus to group effort to ensure that 
performance is as it was planned and scheduled coordination ensures unity of action the purpose of coordination is to secure unity of action in the realization of a common purpose it acts as the binding force between departments and ensures that all action is aimed at achieving the goals of the organization coordination is a continuous process coordination is not a one time function but a continuous process it begins at the planning stage and continues till controlling coordination is an all pervasive function coordination is required at all levels of management due to the interdependent nature of activities of various departments it integrates the efforts of different departments and different levels coordination is the responsibility of all managers coordination is the function of every manager in the organization managers in each levels has to coordinate and communicate with their team members for the successful operation of their process coordination is a deliberate function a manager has to coordinate the efforts of different people in a conscious and deliberate manner even where members of a department willingly cooperate and work coordination gives a direction to that willing spirit summary let us summarize what we have learned in this module management is the process of planning organizing staffing directing and controlling the enterprise resources efficiently and effectively for achieving the goals of the organization effectiveness in management is concerned with doing the right task completing activities and achieving goals the key features of management are goal oriented process all pervasive multi dimensional continuous process group activity dynamic function and tangible force management fulfills three basic objectives organizational social and personal management is important because it helps in achieving group goals increases efficiency creates a dynamic organization helps achieve personal objectives and contributes to the development of society nature management is a combination of an organized body of knowledge or science and its skillful application levels management is considered a three tier activity the top management focuses on determination of objectives and policies middle management attends to achieve these objectives through the effort of other managers and supervisory or operational management directly oversees the efforts of the workforce all managers perform the following interrelated functions planning organizing staffing directing and controlling coordination is the essence of management it is the process of achieving unity of action among interdependent activities and departments of an organization